but it's the, the the logic we 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 live by of trying to to improve our experience moment to moment is ironically uh, largely what what degrades our experience, right? It, it's it's largely what keeps us from recognizing that the present moment and and consciousness as it already is it admits of of real uh, a real discovery of, of of intrinsic well-being and intrinsic tranquility and intrinsic equanimity and intrinsic compassion and in fact you know unconditional love and many of these these very very positive emotions that you know people talk about um, all of that stuff can be found sort of before anything changes in your experience before you are in the right relationship before you get the job you're hoping to get before you, you know, get better from the, the, the illness you're, you're hoping to get better from I and mean, whatever, it, whatever those contingencies are in your life where you think, if only I can solve this problem, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be back to zero. Um, the truth is that that is a kind of mirage and most people never discover it to be so. Right. We just live our lives seeking happiness uh, and seeking to become happy. Uh, and that's the implicit in everything we're attempting to do. And yet there is this recognition, which is itself uh, meditation, that you actually can't become happy. You can only be happy. Right. And what, we're, what, what most people are looking for are good enough reasons uh, you know, by, by virtue of changing their life in the world to simply get off the treadmill for some moments at a time and recognize that the present moment is enough, right? If I can just, you know, if, if, if I had just bought, you know, GameStop at the right moment, you know, then I'd, I would actually be able to just relax and enjoy my life in the present. Um, and again, that is a, that is a mirage, even when it seems to happen for many of us, you know, something great happens and you're just high-fiving everyone around you. You know, that lasts for what, 15 minutes, you know, five hours, and then you're faced with the same long emergency of just what do I do next? And how do I, how do I um, scratch the itch that is now back 